Today I figured I'd do a different type of video. So I'm gonna tell you about these times I almost died when I was a kid. So, first time, well, I guess it goes back farther than that. So the earliest I remember almost dying, and it was like a partial memory because I was so little. I remember being small enough where I had to crawl through this trailer hallway. Now, I don't, some of you older people might remember the old metal trailer steps that was all rickety and dangerous and stuff. Well, this trailer had those because I found out the hard way because I guess I was pushing against the door to stand up and it come open. And I remember tumbling down the stairs on my head and landing right next to a car tire that was peeling out. I don't know if that actually happened or not or part of it happened, but I remember having the sensation of gravel on me and I remember feeling massive pain for like the first time. All right. And then the other time, I remember almost dying. <clears throat> I was probably six or seven. And uh, like I said, we got like a quarter mile driveway. And so I used to run down that driveway, change into my uh, play shoes real quick because mom was a stickler on that and put, put my books away. And then I would run down and there was kind of like where these two hills met and come up beside like where the interstate was. So there's a big page wire fence there. And there's kind of like a little cliffy outcrop in it and probably, I don't know how many feet dropped to the bottom of the driveway. So I don't know why I thought this was a good idea, but I would run down to where I could reach it and I'd run up and I would monkey swing on that page wire fence, land on that little ledge. And I had this little sap and I had bent, up, bent over like a little rope. And then I would monkey, monkey swing down the hill. I done it like every day for like close to, close to a year or something. Never fell once. Never even slipped once. Didn't think nothing of it, you know. Uh, Mom caught me one day though. And she said, don't do that. You're going to break your neck. And then like where we live back in the country and it's a little different time back then. You know, uh, it was a little, it was a whole lot safer. So she went to the store and I remember being old enough to where I was like, well, she can't tell me what to do because I've done this all my, you know, I've done this for, you know, at that time, like a quarter of my life, you know. And so I went to go do it again. And I remember having that feeling of messing up because, like, whenever I went to go jump off the cliff and grab the hold of that page wire fence, I remember instead of me grabbing it, my fingers just brushed off of it. And I bounced off the fence on that little ledge. And then I went to try to go grab that uh, sapling, and I missed. And I ping-ponged all down the, uh, I hit every tree on the way down and flipped across the driveway and landed in the yard. And I remember being all curled up, you know, about to die. And Mom was one of those, you know, that you really had to obey. You know, you know, if you disobey, no matter what, if he's hired or not, you just get punished. And I remember she pulled back up in the car at that time. She goes, she said, get off the ground. She said, you're going to get your dirt, uh, clothes all dirty and stuff. And I remember going around the corner of the house and just like rocking back and forth and crying, you know, until I healed up enough to go back inside. I was, I mean, I thought I was dead because the whole time I was tumbling down the hill, I, the mom's words were in my head. You're going to break your neck. I thought it was, the, I thought it was, I was a goner, you know. So that's one of the times I almost died. There was a time, either right after that or right before that, too. Another thing mom always told me, and it seemed like to me, I would always do stuff, and nothing would happen to me until she said something about it. So she had this old Nova, and this old clunk, clunker and stuff. <clears throat> and uh, I would always lean against the, uh, lean against the car door. I don't even know if it had seat belts. That's how old it was. You know, because back in those days, seatbelts weren't mandatory. And she said, don't lean on that. She said, you'll fall out, the do fall out the door. And I was like, Pfft. you know, I've been leaning on it the whole time, you know, because I just, you know, leaned back on the little armrest there. She went to go take a turn out of the driveway. I went tumbling out into the gravel. And in my mind, now, she says it's different, but it seemed like to me she went awful far before she pulled over. You know, <laughs> and I know she noticed that door flopping, you know, 
But it seemed like to me like she drove a mile before she pulled over. I remember I had this little little lime green coat, you know, because back in the late seventies, early eighties, man, <clears throat> that was a popular color, almost like a kind of like a washed out army fatigue color. I remember I put a hole in it right on right on my elbow because I landed hard, you know. Well, hope you enjoyed my almost dead stories. <laughs>